as we've always talked about, these spacewalks were planned for three. Uh, there was an extreme remote possibility they could do these within two if the crew was making good time, but that does seem to be uh, the case at this point. Okay, can we, can we do a little GCA just to help me get out of the arm here and get out of the way of these? You can, you can stow that PGT now, Hopper. Okay. Suggest aligning it down uh, your leg with the grapple uh, shaft pointed away from your body. And also just kind of um, mind your safety tether there as well. Roger that. This view on board the International Space Station as it flies 261 miles above the uh, South Pacific Ocean gives you a pretty dramatic view here of exactly how big this pump is. You get a sense of just the sheer size of it. I see the snares have it. I've released my grip. Okay, copy that. We have a good uh, close and capture. What they're doing is uh, pretty much cleaning up the activities for today. This should last about another 30 minutes, and that should end today's spacewalk. They were very far ahead of the timeline today. Um, they did go ahead and get the pump module removed from where it was... Uh, where it had been over the last several years and put up on this payload attachment point. That's where it will stay uh, for the near future. The uh, spacewalk did go uh, as planned, actually ahead of plan, which of course is good news. They did wrap it up in five hours, 28 minutes. There you see Mastracchio on the left and Hopkins on the right. The uh, Monday activities will be replanned because they did do quite a bit of those today.